oral sustained release nano drug for treatment of tuberculosis is a long duration slow drug release technology for the treatment of tuberculosis including multiple drug resistant and extremely drug resistant tuberculosis. It helps in reducing the dosage from 9 months of daily dose to only twice or thrice a month dose for 9 months or less. The drug could be used by the drug development R&D groups working in academic institutions and the pharmaceuticals industry. The technology can be out-licensed or employed for other drug developments through collaborative arrangements. The benefit of this approach is that the formulation would allow oral administration and depending on the design would help maintain therapeutic levels of the drug in the body or blood from 7 to 15 days. This is a platform technology that we have uh, which means that uh, we have option of putting uh, a variety of drugs into this nanoparticles. The nanoparticles are made up of biodegradable and biocompatible polymers and in in these uh, polymer uh, nanoparticles made up of these uh, polymers, we can encapsulate either hydrophilic drugs or hydrophobic drugs. And the nanoparticles are then administered orally. So you can make a tablet or capsule uh, out of this. And once given orally, the nanoparticles are lodged in different organs in the body. The preclinical or toxicity studies in animals for this technology have been completed and phase 1 clinical trial has been approved for three of the four anti-TB drugs. A consortium of South African institutions led by CSIR South Africa has signed memorandum of understanding for collaborative clinical trials so that when the product is ready, it can be introduced early for the benefit of the population afflicted with tuberculosis in the African continent. The Federal University of Rio Grande do Sul, Brazil has also signed an MOU for employing the technology for development of long-duration sustained release anti-HIV drugs. Uh, from these nanoparticles, the drug is released by the slow erosion of the nanoparticles, which are lodged in different organs. And this, the drug is released in such a manner, and we program these nanoparticles in such a manner, that the levels of the drug are maintained in the body for the intended period of time. Suppose we have, we have planned that this is a once in a week drug or once in a 10 days drug or once in 15 days drug. Uh, when we plan that the drug is maintained, it is the, the therapeutic levels of the drug are maintained for that duration in the body. The intellectual property right for this technology is held by License Innovations Private Limited. The patent protection for this technology has been filed in India and the US. Other countries where patent for this technology has been filed are China, Brazil, Europe, Australia, Russia and South Africa. The innovation finds a pride of place in Fiki DST Lockheed Martin India Innovation Growth Program. When we participated in the DST Lockheed Martin uh, Innovation Growth Program, uh, we, uh, we were fairly well known in India uh, for this work. Uh, but through the DST Lockheed Martin, the, our innovation has gone global. Uh, most, of the, uh, most of the pioneer companies that are, that are involved in tuberculosis and the organization uh, which are involved in the tuberculosis control program globally have, have come to know about this uh, development.